Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Marie Saavedra. Right now, there's still hope that a missing Navy sailor who has not been seen or heard from since early Saturday morning is still alive. Well, Keegan police wrapping up their search now for 21 year old Seamus Gray. Still, they say they will be back tomorrow. Our Tara Molina is live in Waukegan tonight with the latest. Tara. Joan Marie, police are still calling this a missing persons case. They and this missing sailor's family still very hopeful that he is found alive. We heard from his mother earlier today. She flew into town to help with these search efforts. I'd like for anybody who has any information about my son Seamus to please come forward. Please a mother's me. plea for help. Her 21 year old son missing since Saturday morning. Search efforts underway since he was reported missing Tuesday. That's my boy. That's my guy. His little brother is 14 and it is my son's role model. He's my he's he's my life. So, so please help find Seamus. Police say they'll continue searching first thing Friday. Uh, we're just continuing to search for Seamus. We know he's in excellent shape and we're very hopeful that maybe uh, he could be out there someplace. Police releasing this surveillance video of Gray in a pink outfit, leaving a bar alone early Saturday. We're told the most recent video police are reviewing shows Gray walking on the lakefront. That's where most of the search teams have been focused. Deputy Chief Brian Mullins says they're no longer seeing any activity from Gray's cell phone, but police and his family are holding out hope. Search is wrapped up early because uh, after making numerous passes on land and air, uh, it was determined that our resources have kind of been exhausted a little bit today. I also want to emphasize that the search didn't just start today. We we're out here all day yesterday. We're told police will start searching again first thing tomorrow morning, of course, joined by area departments as they have been for the past couple of days. And tomorrow they'll continue to focus along the lakefront, moving south towards the naval base. Reporting live in Waukegan, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Thanks for the update, Tara.